think it's a very intriguing and contemporary subject. It's, um, it's about a British Indian woman who hires a surrogate from India to carry her baby. And it's a part thriller. And it's um, the spine of the book is really the relationship between the two women. And what fascinated me about the story um, is what, what is it like to give up a child that you've carried? And what is it like to hire someone to carry your child? And what is it like for two people from opposite sides of the world who are tied together for nine months and hold the answer to each other's dreams? So for me, it was a fantastic jumping off point for a book. Well, uh, it's impossible for me to write anything with that big dollop of humour, however serious the subject, <laughs> because that's how I see life. I think life is a total mixture of comedy and tragedy all the time. And they, and you're always teetering on the edge of both. As women, we are very used to laughing in the face of adversity because we have to. So all of my books have lots of humour in them. I think the thing that keeps you young and creative is being eternally curious. And so long as I'm challenged and I'm doing stuff that excites me and makes me think, then um, hopefully I'm producing good work too. I have an eternal love affair with books. Um, I was the weird child in the corner with a book at family parties. I mean, people did think I was freaky. My book was my friend. And books were the way I understood the world and saw the world. I grew up in a tiny little mining village miles from nowhere. I didn't see much of the world, but I felt like I'd felt it and seen it through books. So for me, they were the possibilities of other things for me and escape. There is something very precious about the act of reading. It's, um, it's you and the writer. Um, when you open a page, that is the writer reaching out from wherever they wrote that book to take you by the hand to say, come into my world. Um, and there's nothing that you can get on a screen that will ever give you that experience. And also, I think parents and children reading books together is so important. It lays the foundations for all kinds of other tools, being able to listen and focus and bonding and all of that stuff. So I still read to my son, he's 10, but he just occasionally just likes me to read to him because we always used to do that when he was little. I think a blank page is probably one of the most terrifying things you can face. Um, but I have learned actually, I think if, if you're a writer, you must write. And even if you end up throwing away everything you wrote on the blank page, it's more important that you do it because out of 5,000 words, there might be 500 that are worth keeping. It's like a muscle writing. It gets flabby if you don't keep using it. So that, that's sort of my tip for over overcoming it. I just make myself write something.